Well, good morning to you and welcome to another edition of Expert Alert. I'm your host, Jim Tabor, and this is the show in which we uh, talk to different experts from around the Gulf Coast and different businesses, and they share their expertise with us to educate you a little bit better uh, in what they do. Well, we have uh, back with us again from OS Lumber. <laughs> he was here last uh, month, yes. uh, Greg Thompson, who is the, uh, the paint manager, paint department manager with OS Lumber over in Ocean Springs. And uh, good to have you back here. Well, thank you, Jim. Uh, today I'm here to do a little more discipline, but it's not on paint. No, no. Matter of fact, this is the time of the year when people start looking at, uh, you know, cleaning up the outside of their homes, the, uh, the outside of the house, their decks and everything for entertainment purposes or whatever. So um, we've got, uh, we're going to talk about house and deck cleaning today, proper way to do it proper um, chemicals to use that, uh, you know, because there's, there's different chemicals for, um, you know, each thing. And, uh, you know, and we want to talk about what do I actually need to clean these things like dirt and grease and oil and pollen and mold and mildew and algae and all that stuff. There's a bunch of them. There sure are. And in fact, they even have different speeds and some are more or less caustic. Like for instance, we have the uh, 30 second cleaner. This is very fast. It's a wonderful cleaner for if you need to get it done quickly. Mm -hmm. It's, it doesn't take a lot of tools, it just takes a garden hose, a sprayer, and maybe a scrub brush for really stubborn stuff. Right. But other than that, that's a very quick one. The only problem with it is it doesn't have a preventer. So it's a fast clean, but it means through the season it's going to come back. Ah. So if you're looking for that quick clean, you got family coming in, and you got to get it clean, that's the one. There you go. All right. And then there's Joe Max. And Joe Max is a super fast cleaner, but not as fast as the 32nd, mm -hmm. but it leaves behind a preventative. So basically what this has is it has an algicide and a mildicide in it, and that keeps that from coming back. Mm -hmm. And that'll go all year. That'll go your full season and somewhat ne in the, a little bit into next year. Okay, and what, uh, and what kind of tools do you need to uh, apply these things? Okay, what you would need for both of these two is a pump sprayer. Okay. Just fill it in the sprayer, fill it with the water, for this one, because they're concentrates, and this one takes water and bleach. So you would use an outdoor bleach with this one. Okay. Fill up the right amounts in the sprayer, pump it up, and then begin spraying it on. Now, give me the difference between an outdoor bleach and bleach that you would use for, say, your clothes. Okay, an outdoor bleach has a higher percentage of the chlorine, uh, the chlorine Caustic inside the bleach it. yeah. itself. Yes. Yeah. Where you're looking at like maybe two, three percent. For regular clothing bleach, right. you're looking at 6%, 5 6% wow. for the uh, outdoor. Right. So, yeah, you wouldn't want to wash your clothes with it and make them real brittle. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a couple of uh, brushes kind of right behind here that uh, kind of hidden behind camera. What's the difference between these two? Well, what these are, this one, as you can see, I can get my fingers through it really nice and easy. It's a soft brush. It's yeah. non-marring. Oh, yeah, I see it that. It doesn't leave you marks. scratches or right. anything. That's like something you would want to use when you have fine wood like your deck. You don't want to score the deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But now if you have concrete that you're cleaning with one of these cleaners, oh, much yeah. more bristly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you can get in more it's into almost the... like steel wool. Correct. <laughs> now, two types mainly of the, I didn't mention this earlier, I should have. There's two main types. There's ones that contain bleach, and then there's non-bleach. Okay. They don't use a bleach additive or for their detergent. Right. What right. they have is they have uh, either natural things or proprietary uh, detergents mm -hmm. as opposed to bleach. Okay. So um, can you can any of these be used? I'm, think, I'm some, sure some people think, can I put this in a pressure washer? Yes. This one here is for these two. Yeah. You don't want to put it in a pressure washer right. because they have bleach. Right. And that'll eat up your actually the container that you would put this in. Mm -hmm. It corrodes the inside and causes some problems for the sprayer it's, or for the pressure washer itself. Okay. Now this one is designed. It also has in it a additive that helps you the crud cutter. Right. It has an additive which actually helps lubricate the inside of your pressure washer to extend its life. Ah. Do you, uh, so you just pour that in there and it, it, it mixes itself with the water? That's correct. When you pour that in the reservoir, mm -hmm. there's a tip you put on your pressure washer. Right. And it keeps the pressure lower and tells the machine time to use from the soap. Right. So it'll pick this up, mix it with water, and it sprays it out on your house or your deck or your porch. Right. Okay. All right. Um, and it's called crud cutter. That's crud cutter, yes. Um, what's some of the uh, positive things about this? I mean... Uh, One of the greatest things about the crud cutter is it's fast. Mm -hmm. It's lots of lots of lots of natural soaps it's not a uh, it's not super caustic right and uh, 
it's quick because you're also using it in conjunction with the power of a pressure washer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so it makes it, it is probably the quickest method to get gunk off your house. Is it best to pre-treat? I mean, I know with uh, the pressure washer that I have, mm -hmm. um, there's a thing for, that for just, you know, the, uh, to put the, the soap stuff on there Certainly. and then go back, uh, turn the, uh, the, the mo motor on itself, mm -hmm. depending on the nozzle that you use and do like that. So I would assume that it's best to go ahead and pre-treat it first. Yeah, what you would, do, basically you're right. You don't run, you just run it with the pump on. So it's just pushing the soap out. Right, You know, right. get it all nice and soaked up. Let then it you sit can a go, second. Let it sit a minute or two. Don't let it dry. Never right. let any one of these dry because then it's pretty much like trying to get algae back off, you know, scrub it and wipe it again. But uh, then when you go back with that second treatment, you'll have the pump on and it'll kind of push it out, cut, which cut helps, it yeah, helps cut it. And then you yeah. turn your pump full up and then you can mm -hmm. just rinse it off. Okay. What else you got? Well, the other one I have now is something called wet and forget. This is pretty much the easiest system out of all of them to use because you don't need a pump sprayer. You don't need anything except for a garden hose. Yeah, see that. You, gotta, you, you just hook the garden hose yeah. to the top of that. Yeah. Right there, you put the nozzle in it. Turn it on and you just rinse, rinse it on, or well, spray it on. You don't rinse it right, at all. Right, right. It's wet and forget. So you just put it on there and you're good to go. So you don't have to rinse it or anything. No, you just spray it on and leave it. Okay. Now this one here, this is another one. And what they've done is they've put a handy little uh, sprayer nozzle into it. And you just sink that into here. And then you can walk around. If you have trouble spots, you can just hit the trouble spots. Okay. That looks like it works out pretty easy. That one is easy, but it's really slow. That's the only disadvantage. It works with Mother Nature. Mm -hmm. So when you spray it on everything, it slowly defeats the mold and the mildew. And as it rains and the weather changes, it, you can literally, over a period of two weeks, you can watch your house clean itself. So it's kind of slow, Yeah. but it's got the preventative in it. You can go almost two years with this product. Now, you know, people have different types of you know, things that they need to clean off, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, funguses and all this, uh, algae. Right. How do you tell the difference between and, and to know which of these products to get? Sure. Because I don't want to get something to, to, to clean algae or to clean, you know, uh, fungus or something like that, and it's only good for cleaning algae. Right. Very good. Um, primarily, algae can feed itself. Mm -hmm. It has uh, chlorophyll in it. Chlorophyll, which, yeah. Which it, it uses that sunlight to feed itself right so it'll be a bright green or okay. it can even be a little darker green but it's primarily a green a green you can recognize okay now mold and mildew those two are generally 99 percent of the time they're like a black or a dark 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 green which almost appears black or a dark dark brown that almost appears black okay and they can also appear fuzzy where your algae appears more like it's part of the wood it's kind of right. sucked in because right. it's growing in the cracks and the crevices right and then as for your pollens, well, we all know the beautiful yellow, yellow that sticks stuff. on everything. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's, that one's not a hard one to find. But um, the big thing is when you're going with mill, mold and mildew, you need a mildicide. If you don't have certain things, you know, like this one has the mildicide, mm -hmm. or you can use natural stuff like this does. Um, there's a certain amount of uh, extracts from different plants and stuff that will keep the mold mold and algae down okay well great so the best thing to do is whenever you go to os lumber <clears throat> when you talk to greg or any of the people there because that was the great thing about it is there's so many people in your department that mm -hmm. uh, i mean they know their stuff yes so you yes, go in there you say well what i got is green or it's black or it's brown or something like that it's it's on this particular kind of surface um because you know uh depending on the surface you might be a wood surface like a deck true uh, you may have uh, um you know the uh uh, aluminum siding, you know, Rhino, aluminum, in, yep. aluminum siding or brick. Brick. So you're going to use something different for each one of these. That's correct. And you want to be sure that you, you know, get the right one to do the right cleaning or else, you know, you're wasting money. Yeah, that would be a bad, yeah, that would be very bad because you, then you're going to waste your time, your energy, the product and money. You're right. Yeah. And, and your water bill is going to go through the roof. So that would be bad because <laughs> you'll be doing double, triple cleaning. Exactly. Yes. You got to do it two or three times. Anyway, again, if you like some more information about this, stop by OS Lumber. You can call them um, and, and, and find out what they ha actually have there. And there's so many more things that we're going to be talking about over the next few months uh, with OS Lumber. Greg, pleasure. Jim, thank you very much. Thanks for being here with us. Uh, Greg Thompson, paint manager with OS Lumber here on today's Expert Alert. We'll see you again tomorrow.
If you have a question for any of our experts, go to WLOX.com and click on Expert Alert. For a list of any of our upcoming experts, go to WLOX.com and click on Expert Alert.